Welcome back to my channel, Kira Smiles. If you're new, my name is Kira Keho. My channel is all about things that make me happy and I just want to spread the love, spread the happiness, spread the joy, everything like that. Today's video is going to be about waking up on the right side of the bed. So I'm going to share my tips and tricks with you today and take whatever you want from them. Let's get into it. <laughs> the first thing you actually have to do is manage to get out of bed. Now I know for a lot of us that's hard, but I think something that's helped me a lot um, is setting a time in which I get up at every day of the week from Monday to Friday. Now, it can be whatever time works best for you. I'm in university, so I don't, I don't always start class at the same time. My earliest class was at 8.30. And so with all the commute and all that, the earliest I have to get up, or the, the time I have to get up for that is around 5.30. So I decided to make myself a window of time. So between 5.30 and 6 is when, I, is when I will wake up throughout the week. I do this because it's important to kind of tell your body that there's consistency and when there's consistency your body will start to realize like okay that means I have to wake up now and you know what? you might even get to the point where you don't even need an alarm clock I've gotten there sometimes I wake up like literally two minutes before my alarm and it's like whoa that's weird the first thing I suggest doing when you wake up in the morning is drinking water <laughs> now I am a total hypocrite because I do not often have water beside my bed and so I don't always drink water as soon as I get up okay but I'm telling you it's such a good thing to do and I'm really gonna push myself to start doing it because it's so good to kind of wake up your body. Now, it's not supposed to be freezing icy cold water. It's just supposed to be kind of be um, room temperature where it just kind of it just kind of wakes up your whole system, which is really important because then all of a sudden you're going to be going to digest food and you don't want it to be kind of like an instant like, oh my God, I need to wake up and digest food kind of thing for your body. I'm making my stomach sound like it's a person, but you know what I'm saying. Next up is I suggest going to a window, going out the door, doing something, that involves getting fresh air. Most mornings, I just open up my window if it's not already open and I just breathe in the beautiful morning air. It's just good to take some quiet time in the morning. I'm sure your days are so busy and you don't have much time to yourself. And so this, this quiet time, whether it be for a 30 second period of time or whether it be for five minutes, just to sit and be grateful for everything that you have and just kind of look forward to the day ahead, be thankful for everything. Um, I think it's really important to just be positive first thing in the morning. Think about everything that makes you happy and all that. And so I find breathing in the fresh air, embracing the beautiful universe around us is a great way to do that. So that's what I like to do first thing. Uh, then I hop out of bed and I actually head right to the bathroom where I brush my teeth. I like to brush my teeth before I eat. So this way you're kind of giving yourself a protective layer. So your toothpaste is, strip is getting rid of all the germs, but then it's giving you a protective layer that when you go and eat, um, the germs and the and all the food and everything they won't stay stuck to your teeth. They'll get digested So I like to do this just to kind of feel fresh first thing in the morning Then I like to go downstairs and I like to make myself something to drink a lot of mornings Whether it be coffee or tea lately. I've been doing a lot more tea just because I feel like I've gotten too hooked on coffee um, So yeah, I've been doing tea. I either do green tea uh, most of the times I do green tea just because it has that caffeine in it That gives me that little boost. I really like fruity drinks during the fall um, as well as this chocolate, this chocolate chai tea, super, super good. Um, reminds me a little bit of hot chocolate, and but it has less sugar. So yeah, I really like drinking these three teas here. One thing that I, I really like to do, but I, I find I don't do enough, is making lists in the morning. Um, this is something, I'm somebody who lives off of making to-do lists. Um, that's the only way the ideas from my head that are swashing around up there are going to get onto, like, going to actually get done. Because, like, I'm somebody who, like, thinks of something, tells myself, okay, Kira, you have to remember this. And then I go and do something else for two seconds, and I come back, and the idea is gone. And I'm sure it was, like, a good idea because, like, I don't know, it, it was something that I was excited about, right? So anyways, for, I use a variety of different things. I either write in my journal. I actually have two journals, but this one is the one that I like a lot, this one with the writing on it. I'm actually almost done my two journals, which which is another one of my favorite things to do, going to look for journals. Okay, anyway, sorry, I'm getting really excited. But yes, I love to either write in my journal um, or I write in my agenda, which is the one right here. Or I actually just write on an actual to-do list. This one I got from Rifle Paper. I'll leave the link down below for their website. It's actually, a, it's like a beautiful website. They sell a whole variety of things, actually. They're actually doing phone cases now as well, and my calendar is actually from there as well. I'll either write in my agenda I'll write in my journal or I'll write on my to-do list. And it's just a good way to get my ideas out of my head and so that I'm not worrying about them first thing in the morning. You know, it's not something that I have to like, okay, I have to remember to do this and this and this and this and this. No, no, no. Like I'll put it down and then it's out of my head. You know, it's just kind of like letting the, letting everything out. <laughs> 
A few other things that I like to do during the morning that I don't necessarily do every morning, but I incorporate every once in a while. I have to water my plants every few days, so I love to do that in the morning. Um, you take, I take them down from my shelf, and it's just kind of nice. I, I essentially interact with them. You know, I'm, I'm giving them life a little bit. You know, I give them water. Um, I might talk to them a little bit. I don't know, I've read that if you sing to plants, it makes them grow, and so I haven't been singing because I can't sing, but I've been talking to them, and they seem happy. I mean, they're up on my shelf right there, and, you know, they're waving at me. <laughs> no, um, but yeah, I love just watering my plants. It gives me something, uh, kind of like a responsibility, essentially, to do because I'm taking care of them. Um, another thing I like to do is waking up and jumping on my yoga mat. I'll either just do some stretches or I'll actually do a, a yoga session. I love watching yoga with Adrienne videos because she makes videos that are effective but they're they're not long so they're between like 15 to 30 minutes and they really either give you a sweat or they really give you a good stretch she's just somebody who is so fun to wake up to in the morning because she's so lively and she's so positive and energetic just find like just pick a video and as she says you find what feels good that's pretty much what i like to do in the mornings to kind of get, get myself feeling good about the day you know, maybe I have maybe I have something pressing to do later on that I'm not looking forward to or just like I, maybe I didn't have a good night's sleep and I'm just not willing to wake up. I find this routine really pushes me to do something, you know, and I think that's so important. Um, so yeah, I hope you learned a little bit from this uh, little talk we had here. Um, take whatever you want from what I've said. Take nothing if you want and make your complete own routine because it's really, it's completely up to you. It's what makes you feel comfortable and you feel good in the mornings. So thank you again, guys, for watching me. I'll definitely be back next week some, with some more interesting videos. So I can't wait. <laughs> Bye. I know what it is, but I'm hoping that all is well.